Hey guys, happy 1st of July. As you can see, I'm wearing my USA shirt in honor of the 4th of July. But anyways, this video is my 11 month update of my FUE hair transplant. So let's get right to it. So it hasn't been that long since my last video. It's only been like three weeks. So I can't say that I've seen like phenomenal growth, but I mean, obviously my hair has grown a little bit because hair grows in three weeks. And I, and I did see one baby hair sprout in these three weeks. So that was pretty surprising. Uh, you really can't see it on camera, but it, it's like somewhere like right there. Trust me, it's there. I don't have any product here in the front section, just here on the sides and I'll do the whole uh, twirly whirly thing and show you guys a close up now. All right. Actually, I'm gonna angle this so you guys see it in the best light. Okay, I have full natural uh, sunlight, not sunlight, but light from the outside world coming in through the window. So that's the best type of light to show things. So I'm gonna run my hands through the hair here and show you the hairline in fine detail, if I do say so myself, and I just did. So that's how the hairline's looking on this side. Looks pretty good, pretty nice. And then now we're gonna do the other side, the one that I've mentioned before that I wish it would grow in a little more. So you can see, uh, I think the main takeaway here is that it looks natural. Uh, what do you guys think? I think it looks, you know, really natural, really nice. I would, I do wish it was a little denser, but I can't complain because you guys have seen my before photo. So this is like amazing results. So, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think I've ever done this. I'll show you guys how that looks. It just feels like normal, regular hair. And it looks natural and nice. Nobody thinks it looks like you know, like I had anything done. Because it really doesn't. It really just looks like the natural hairline that I should have. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the sides. Uh, I've seen that. Well, let me change the angle. Okay, this is the full uh, frontal angle. And I'm gonna do the sides. This just, you can't tell anything was done from the sides. Like I've said many times, I'll show you guys the back. I'll run my hands through it. I'm trying to do it in slow motion for you guys. Totally like, like nothing. Then this side, same thing. Just looks natural, like nothing ever happened. I'll do that so you guys can see how that looks. Very natural, very good. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna answer a few questions that I've been getting in the comments section and they come up over and over. I'll answer them over and over, I guess. So uh, you guys wanna know if I take any medication for my hair, if I take finasteride or Propecia. I don't take any of those. I don't take Rogaine, I don't take uh, finasteride. And if you guys wanna take them, that's good on you, but I will not be taking any of those uh, things. First of all, I don't have the patience to be putting on Rogaine every morning and evening. That's just like way too much of my time doing something like that. And second, I don't want to be taking finasteride because you know that, I don't know, it affects your whole endocrine system, hormones. I don't want to mess with my body in that way. I attribute my great results to first off, you know, the Cortez brothers because they did a great job on me. You know, they're, they're good doctors that are ethical and they just know what the heck they're doing. And uh, I attribute that to my great results. Second, I take care of myself, you know. I only drink like maybe once a month, you know. I try to eat healthy. I mean, since I got the hair transplant, I went on this like health binge. I joined the gym, I lost a lot of weight, and it all comes like, I don't know, just easier, like an easy package to, to self-improvement. It's like, I got a hair transplant, I wanna look my best, so I started eating better, and uh, I try to live a low stress life. You know, I know that sounds like, like, well, how do you do that? Well, I just try not to worry so much anymore. Some of you were asking if HMR does beard transplants. And yes, they do beard transplants also. Uh, it's all on their website. If you guys just go on their website, it says that they're under treatments. And you guys, like the website might be in Spanish, but there's like a little 
uh, button that says English, just hit English and everything's like right there. Some of you were asking how much time off work do you need after uh, the FUE surgery? Well, I mean, technically, if you want to push it, technically three days after surgery, you can be back at work. Because, uh, you know, it's the day of the surgery, that's one day. And then you need at least two days for the anesthesia to drain away. And uh, you got to take care of yourself because if you're like up walking around and stuff, the anesthesia is just going to like drip down your face and you could get swelling. And trust me, guys, you don't want that. There's videos on YouTube that look like horror movie videos uh, uh, when you see what happens to some guys that were just too active right after the surgery. So, uh, yeah, so if you want to push it, you can go be it back at work within three days. But honestly, I would take, you know, five days minimum and preferably a week because after seven days, the scabs have to come off because you, you're going to have uh, scabs from the uh, incisions that were made and those come off after seven days. And then after that, I think it's pretty safe to go back to work. Uh, probably nobody would even know you had FUE done after the scabs come off. Uh, but, but yeah, after three days, you could just wear a hat and try to hide it that way. But everyone's going to be like, why are you wearing a cap? You know, people are so damn curious. And honestly, it's none of their business. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, next month is going to be one my one-year anniversary of my FUE hair transplant. So that video will come out at the beginning of uh, August. So see you guys then. All right, my name is Moises Amaya, and I'm out.